all writing, all art is just, it's a wild leap off a, off a cliff because you really, there's nothing, there's nothing to support you. You're creating something out of nothing, really. No one's telling you to do it. It comes from within and it's a very mysterious process, at least for me. I, I still don't understand how I write a story or a book. I don't understand how it happens. I mean, I know it takes time. I know it takes effort. I know it takes lots and lots of drafts and hours, but I still really don't understand the internal mechanism of, of how it really happens. I never really thought about being a writer, you know, I mean, I remember reading Little Women as a child, as a girl, and knowing that Joe grew up to be a writer. But when I was reading the book, I never thought, I want to be like that, I want to do that. It was always a very private form of consolation for me. Even after publishing my first book, I felt that the writing of the stories came out of a place of deep isolation for me. But then to have the book published and to realize there's a way in which almost anyone can connect on some level to something one, one puts out into the world. And it was very consoling and, 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 and gratifying in, in that sense because I felt that, you know, my experience of loneliness as a child, my experience of, of feeling so estranged and, and being convinced that it, nobody else lived in this particular way um, wasn't the case. That's the enormous power of literature, I mean, that you can write out of a, such a specific place, and yet it's really about entering into other people's consciousness, right? Another character's mind and, and thoughts, and, and, and in that sense, I, don't, I think we're less divided than we think we are. In my own work, I mean, in a way, I've been going over and over a similar terrain. But in the end, the stories become universal, yeah, are universal. And it doesn't matter if they're taking place in rural Canada or New England or Ireland or, you know, Narayan's India, you know. I mean, there's something linking them, which is the human experience. I mean, to speak of the lowland, you know, I, I began with a scene. I began attempting to describe it from various points of view, but the, the initial point of view was through the eyes of a young female narrator who was attempting to understand something that had happened perhaps before her lifetime. I didn't really get anywhere with, with that description. This book gestated for a decade before I really started working on it. And I think it's just a matter of trial and error. I mean, you try something, it doesn't work. You try another, you try it another way, maybe it works even less well or maybe it works a little bit better. And it, it really is, you know, um, the dark room that Henry James describes. I mean, it's a sort of groping and continuously trying things out and understanding why something fails. I mean, I, I studied creative writing with a wonderful teacher and writer named Leslie Epstein. What he really taught me is, the, the key is to try to understand what are the elements that are failing and why and then you move on to the next draft with a little bit more clarity. Because of that, when I do write a draft, you know, when I do write the 949 flawed drafts that lead to the 950th successful one, it's a matter of analyzing the flaws um, and, and then working with that knowledge and, and then reworking and re-approaching. Re I mean, some ideas, necessarily burn out. But with the projects that I feel committed to, um, that I feel, that I sense in that way that one senses something in a darkened room, that I sense, okay, I think this can arrive at some ultimate sense of completion. I try to be, I try to be faithful to that. But, you know, my description of this room will differ from your description of this room, will differ from everybody else's description of this room because we are limited and graced by our own, our own pair of eyes, our own, the, the things that we notice in the foreground versus the background. Um, I think that's the beauty of, of, uh, of creative work.